Hi everyone, so it's me again, Jen Sivarau, and welcome to my channel, channel, channel. So for today's video is I'll be sharing to you my version of baked salmon. Okay, so ito, nahugasan ko na ang salmon natin. So I always like, um, I always like my salmon with skin because I always love a fish skin. So that's why I prefer this one. But you can also use a, you can also use a skinless salmon. So let's put it in a baking pan and then I covered, uh, I placed it on top of a parchment paper because I don't want my salmon to stick on my baking pan and then let's add some oil, some olive oil, a little bit of oil. black pepper this is less than 10 uh, less than 30 minutes cooking and then some some salt and then I'm going to add onion powder Para my extra flavor. And then I'll add also a garlic powder. And don't forget to add a lemon. set this aside first and I'll show you how I will cut my lemon I will add a two thin slice of my lemon on top here and then I'm going to squeeze this one on my uh, salmon Just a little bit. Okay. And then, don't forget also, we can add, I'll add some dried leaves, dried, dried chives. You can also add parsley if you want to, but I don't have parsley, so I will just use chives. Then massage it para mag, mag soak yung uh, ingredient, your flavor niya. Okay. And then I'll take the the seeds of my lem, uh, lemon slice and put this on top. Okay, here. But I am not finished yet. I'm going to add some asparagus and beans on my on my salmon because I want it I want a full meal. Okay. Let me wash this one. And I am a I just love green beans I am a green beans fan I just don't know why but I love green beans and then I'm going to add my asparagus 
cut ko lang muna. Cut ko lang yung yung tip na asparagus. Yung dulo. Kasi minsan, it's it's hard to chew the bottom part of the, aspar of the asparagus. Kaya, cut it here. And then next is I'll cut, uh, I'll cut butter, just a little bit of butter, para when you are going to cook your your salmon and your vegetables, it's not, it's not, uh, it's not dry. And then let's put this, uh, this butter on top of our salmon also and sa vegetables naman natin is let's add salt and pepper Then some garlic powder and onion powder. And then let's add pepper, pepper flakes. Para mas malasa. And then I'll add some chives, dried chives, and some olive oil. Mix it lang siya. Don't worry if you halo in your ang beans. Uh, uh, you put it all together, the beans and asparagus, since you are going to. Put it on the, the the pan as well. So here, I'll put the asparagus in the center. The beans naman sa side. And then, squeeze natin yung extra lemon. Make sure don't add the the lemon seeds kasi bitter siya if lulutuin siya bitter siya if you're going to bake it okay I'll wash my hands muna let's add a little butter sa vegetables din natin para hindi siya dry after And then let's bake this one for uh, 8 to 10 minutes. But for me, 8 minutes is really, it's better. Para 
Ah, uh, juicy pa din yung salmon natin. Okay. Let's bake this to 8 to 10 minutes. So, our oven beeps now, so it means that it is cooked. Our salmon is cooked. Let me turn on the oven first. And let's get this out here. Oh, yeah. And there we go. This is our salmon. Okay. Then the beans. As well as the asparagus. and our beans oops But, hindi siya magiging complete if hindi natin titikman. So, I have my knife and my fork. Here, let's see those. Mmm. Oh, yeah. So tasty. I can taste the lemon. And then, this is my green beans. perfectly cooked hindi siya masyadong overcooked at hindi din siya masyadong raw and now the asparagus So, yeah. <clears throat> Ipakita ka sa inyo. And that concludes our video for today. My own version sa ating baked uh, salmon with lemon and some asparagus and green beans so thank you guys for watching and this is jin sebaral don't forget to share like and subscribe bye bye